Well everyone, we finally got some new gameplay footage and information for Splatoon 3 during the February Nintendo Direct. And oh boy, let me tell you, it definitely surprised me. So we're basically getting Salmon Run again, but with new additions. For example, there will be new bosses with some rather unique movesets to fight against. With what's been shown so far, it seems like a natural evolution. There seems to be a new mechanic called the Egg Throw. It's pretty much what you expect it to be, you throw eggs. Although, I feel like this will be a fun thing to use, especially with other team members. It will be Splatoon's version of basketball. A ton of weapons were being used, so it's good to know there will be a large amount of weapon options available. The Crab Tank special appeared once again, but this time we got to see the user interface icon for it. I like how it looks, and it reminds me of Mr. Krabs. Also, the music was nice and sounded very similar to Tartar's Blender theme. Anyways, after more gameplay is shown, a big reveal quite literally takes place. An enormous Godzilla-like Salmonid shows up. I'm guessing it will be a boss fight similar to the Fury Bowser one from Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. However, I'm calling it right now, this is probably either a random Salmonid that got mutated or little buddy's true form. Maybe he really is the villain. All joking aside, this was really cool to see. At the end, we get a look at the title. The next wave subtitle feels very appropriate with the chaos theming going on. Anyways, the last major piece of news we got was the release window for Splatoon 3. As suspected by myself and others, the game will be available sometime in summer of this year. Honestly, I'm a bit annoyed that we haven't gotten any real release date yet. Especially when you consider that this is the third trailer, I'm not sure why they keep doing this, but I'm hoping we get a confirmed date soon. While I am grateful we got a new trailer, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little disappointing. Look, getting Salmon Run again feels like Splatoon 3 will just be a rehash of Splatoon 2. Not only that, but it feels weird to bring it back when you consider Little Buddy is part of the game. I wonder what the story will be like and who exactly the main villain is. This trailer is a bit concerning, but I'm still hopeful the new features will outweigh the returning modes and maps. While some things have been left unanswered, I believe this was entirely done on purpose in order to keep everything mysterious. Despite this, a Splatoon 3 Focus Direct is probably going to happen and finally reveal everything. Also, I do apologize if I missed some details. Overall, this trailer was slightly underwhelming, but welcome. Getting any type of new Splatoon 3 news is always appreciated. Hopefully, the game releases in early summer, and maybe that Italian Amazon leak was real. Anyways, what did all of you think of this trailer? Were you satisfied or disappointed? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to help the channel grow by subscribing, turning on notifications, and clicking the like button. Anyways, as always, take care everyone.